Hi everyone. Okay, so this video is gonna be a little different because I'm talking about oh. Oh. Talking about chronic fatigue, to be honest, I don't even know if I have chronic fatigue, but it seems to be going that way. At least I have fatigue, but I don't know if I actually have chronic fatigue. Does that make sense? Like you might have Lyme disease or underactive thyroid. There's a ton of them. They all have weird names and chronic fatigue can be a symptom of them or you can actually have just old chronic fatigue by itself. Now, before I get into any of this whole thing, I just want to say, let's not play Dr. Google here. We're just gonna have a chat. Share your personal stories, but let's not, let's not, you know, diagnose anybody with anything because it is scary enough. But let me catch you guys up on where I am up to. I've been having issues for about over a year. Initially, they thought there was something wrong with my heart. So I was in hospital. I had loads of things done to my heart. It all came back fine. I've got loads of blood work done and I get blood work done every two months just to keep track because there is some issues in my blood. So they think that it probably is gonna be an underactive thyroid, but we don't know. So until we you know I'm not gonna go into it too much but I do have chronic fatigue so basically I have four stages in my chronic fatigue I have days when I wake up and I am full of energy for about like an hour or so and then I crash then there's days when I wake up feeling so awful like I just feel terrible then within a couple of hours I feel fine and then the whole day can be perfect awesome I love days like that and then I have days where I can't move I can't do anything. It's so controlling, like it literally controls your entire body. I would have all these ideas and all these plans about things that I wanted to do and then I just would be able to do them because my body would not let me do them. And then there's the fourth stage. I don't even like to talk about it because it, it panics me even talking about it. I could just be doing normal things and then all of a sudden I am out. <sighs> I'm not gonna get upset because I'm gonna mess up my eyeliner. <laughs> I'm even a mild case compared to some other people. There's some other people that are just like bedridden basically and it's so hard and I just I, I just want to like wrap them up in a blanket and just like protect them and like look after them. If I can do something with my channel and my reach of people, which it's not a massive reach, but if I can make this into something good by setting up a support group, I am hoping to set up a Facebook group for us to kind of communicate on what works for us. Great thing is I have had so much information given to me by so many different people because a lot of my followers seem to have be chronic fatigue sufferers as well. I don't know if there's a lot of chronic fatigue people out there or maybe they just seem to happen to like my content. I feel like every day I'm learning something I could like write a book just on chronic fatigue. Like that's how much information has been given to me. I was speaking to a girl recently. Let me find my phone. A paler shade of beauty is her name. She's trying to get treatment at the moment and it's there's a GoFundMe page. So I'm going to link that in the description box. I wanted to share her page and I'll hopefully get my own Facebook group set up. But if you have any recommendations of other groups that you find that are helpful on Facebook, I'd love to communicate with them, join those groups as well as being able to set up my own. It, you know, every time you talk to somebody else who's going through this thing, it actually does make you feel better. It's such a cliche because how can hearing somebody else going through the same thing make you feel better? but it does make you feel better because one thing with chronic fatigue is that you feel like it's all in your head. You feel like, am I just not focusing today? Am I just not pushing myself enough? And I know that I am. And when I talk to other people who are saying, no, I am trying really hard too and I just can't do it. And we just, we just for whatever reason, can't do it today. It does make you feel, it does just, it just makes you feel so much better. So if I can hopefully share my story with more people, I'm thinking of doing some vlogs and stuff about my good days and bad days, what I take, um, the vitamins that I take, the diet changes. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That is where I'm up to. I will put some links and stuff in the description box and do check out the stuff in there. Oh, and you can subscribe and check out these other videos and hit that subscribe button and the like button and the comment and all that kind of stuff. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.